everybody, this is Ryan with the Audubon Society of Western Pennsylvania. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about porcupines. So, sometimes I get a question from uh, kids in our classes, they say, oh, like, do we have porcupines in Pennsylvania? I don't really see them. Absolutely we do. We have, uh, we have a pretty decent population of porcupines, but they're usually out more at night, uh, and so we don't see them, and they go up into trees. And so I remembered seeing a deceased porcupine in this area and I want to see if it's still here. So they are a large rodent so that means they have teeth that keep growing. Beavers are the biggest rodent in North America but porcupines are easily the second largest one. They have a huge range from Alaska uh, all through Canada down to even Southern California uh, but they're generally absent from like the deep south, deep southern states. So, porcupines are the only mammal that has antibiotics in their skin because they often climb up trees to get at tender shoots and that means they fall out a lot too. And so whenever they're stuck with their own quills, that could become infected. So their skin has antibiotics in it. Up here we go. Oh, this is a deceased porcupine here. Look at those teeth. Definitely a rodent. We see some quills here as well. So their quills are a defensive measure against predation. And there's not many creatures that will tangle with a porcupine. Sometimes fishers uh, and cougars will, um, but cougars seem to have a, an ability to just tolerate having quills in their faces. So porcupines are mostly nocturnal and they're solitary as well. The only time they meet up with other porcupines is in their breeding season, which is in uh, in the fall. They weigh around 20 to 30 pounds. They could be smaller, they could be a little bigger, but that's pretty typical for porcupines. And those quills are modified hairs, and they are sharp, and they have barbs on them. So whenever they stick, they don't just come straight out. They kind of tug, and that can form infections in creatures that are well, I could just say, make the mistake of tangling with a porcupine. So, thank you for coming out with me today. Uh, we learned a little bit about porcupines in Pennsylvania. Uh, check out ASWP.org for more information, and I'll catch you on the next video.